From Software from the past decade has been releasing critically acclaimed games, and I think a lot of the reason they're talked about is because of their communities. People who just love getting lost in these worlds and the adventures they provide. And it seems that compared to other communities, the From Software one has always stood out to me. In the most recently released game, there's been a meme to come about, a jest that has become unironically amazing, that being the absolute legend, let me solo her. And Adonis in the lands between, wielding two katanas, a pot to protect his face from the gaze of those beneath him, abs carved from the Elden Ring itself, and a loincloth with magical abilities to hide the size of his massive family jewels. This hero has helped so many defeat Melania, an Empyrean and arguably one of the most difficult bosses in the game. There have been plenty of memes of this absolute legend, even an absolute banger of a song. But one thing I was thinking about is why this character is so popular. Why do people, myself included, love this meme so much? We're using our finite time on this planet to work on something involving him. I had a sudden thought that made this click for me, and maybe it will for you too. Besides being an awe-inspiring feat that has reached over 1,400 victories over millennia, 1,400 souls were saved from this boss. I think there's something more to it. From Software games are difficult, they're mysterious, and they will kick your teeth in if you let them, and I think that's why those friendly faces we come across in these games really mean a lot to us, even if we never get to speak to them. We've seen a Let Me Solo Her before, a friendly face that offers a hand after getting curb stomped, and then the other, a sword to beat the ever-living snot out of that fool challenging us. And I think it's that playthrough where you get some help that really makes your experience special. I want to talk about one of those you may have come across yourself. I hope this one brings a smile to your face as it does mine, with only three words. Iron Knight Tarkus. Let me take you on a trip down memory pain. In Dark Souls 1, Sense Fortress is your final challenge before heading to the Golden City of An Orlando. And what a challenge it is! It acts like a twisted joke with traps scattered throughout pressure plates, pendulums of death that you have to rush past with snake dudes spitting lightning at you, and boulders ready to flatten you at any moment. Sense Fortress is a joke that you don't get until you play it again. That first time? It's on you. And when you're broken, and battered, you finally make your way to the boss. You step through the fog gate, only to realize the absolute giant iron golem is your opponent, and chances are he is going to kill you, overwhelming your character in strength and on a platform that will throw you off and lead to your death if hit a certain way. It's a tough fight that first time, but if you use your humanity and look around the boss area, you'll find the summon of Iron Knight Tarkus. You may think, oh, a summon, cool. So you call for his aid and go through the gate, and then this happens. Just hang back. Just chill out. Okay. You, don't, you don't need to do anything. What? Just take a look. Tarkus! Tarkus! No. Tarkus! No Tarkus! No way! Tarkus! No way! No way! No way! Iron Knight Tarkus reverse Uno cards the boss and just destroys him. It's so awesome. One, because it's hilarious. And two, you are now free to go through the rest of the game. There is no conversation with Tarkus, no other encounter where the two of you team up once again, just a single battle, and then he's gone. You can find his remains in An Orlando, as he tragically fell with the enormous weight of his iron nuts. But that moment in Sen's Fortress is amazing. It's something I look back on with a smile, and I always recommend anyone playing Dark Souls 1 to have that special moment. In fact, a couple years ago, my friend was streaming with his brother over Twitch, and I encouraged him to summon this absolute unit, and mid-combat, the two brothers and everyone in chat were chanting, Targus! Targus! It was such a fun moment we all shared together.
And that's why I think Let Me Solo Her is so endearing as a meme and a sample of the From Software community. Here's a player taking time out of their day to help people beat a difficult boss. That's so freaking cool. He's really up there with the greats like Tarkus, Sigmire, and even Solaire. From Software, if you're viewing this, could we get Let Me Solo Her as an NPC in a future game? That would be amazing for a community sense. And yeah, this is absurd. Of course it is. We're spreading the word of a custom character in a video game. But consider this. The ancient Greeks read poetries and stories before battle. Sclods would share their tales in meat halls. The Egyptians long ago carved hieroglyphics into the walls of their temples. Is this really any different today? If anything, all that's changed is the medium we communicate in. Hell, YouTubers are pretty much bards sharing stories with viewers. Humanity loves stories. It's goofy, I know, but sometimes life has a great sense of humor. And as one of those bards, I'd like to raise a toast. Let me solo her. You are an avatar of victory and joy. Thank you for all you have done. You've made mine and so many other lives greater with your actions.